a ship hit the reef, and somebody on the tower would yell, wreck ashore. So a ship went out, or a boat went out to the reef. He became the wrecking captain. He brought everybody off the shipwreck back here in the island. And they went back and brought everything of value back to Mallory Square. In Mallory Square, we had a wrecking court and a wrecking auction. At the wrecking auction, the wrecking captain got 50% of the proceeds and 25, and the residents the remainder happened off the nut. That we were the most wealthiest per capita place in the United States. Until technology came along, yeah, what technology? They could tell. The coral reef was out there that ended the wrecking years, the wrecking court, and the wrecking auction. If you want to learn about the wrecking years, you can go to the shipwreck museum in Mallory Square. And you can take the tower all the way to the top. And there was an Englishman named John Wall. John wants to read the tobacco industry in the island, but tobacco is was it grown in the tobacco was grown in Cuba. So John goes to Cuba, brings back tobacco leaves and Cuban workers. At one point here in the island, there was 166 tobacco factories. Every day by hand, they rolled 375,000 cigars. The average tobacco worker rolled 300 cigars a day by hand, and the island put out over 100 million cigars per year. Well, we had a fire here in 1886. It destroyed most of the tobacco factory. After the fire, a group came here from Tampa, Florida. And after land and tax and census and the tobacco industry ended up leaving the island and going to Tampa, Florida. Now, before the hurricane, you could never see this building on the left. But since the hurricane, you can tell the streets that came down. We're going to make our way down here. We're going to come to a wall. And after we pass the wall on the left, we'll be the Straits of Florida, but also what many people call it the highway to Cuba. If it was a highway, it would go to Cuba, but it's only going to go as far as you can see. And it is the Ninth Street Pier. Cuba is not 90 miles away, as everything says it is. It's 98. You can Google it. John Kennedy, in one of his speeches, either during the Bay of Pigs or the Cuban Missile Crisis. He might have been upset with Fidel Castro and an error said 90 miles to Cuba. So as we pass the wall here on the left, you'll see the Ninth Street Pier and again if we kept on going, it would be to Cuba. And this is where we get to the construction part because they we're gonna to have to take a right. Normally we would go straight, but this part of the beach was heavily damaged. So they've been working on that. So that would be the Ninth Street Pier up here on the left. Again, if Captain I'm going to go to Cuba, here on the right is our bocce court. It's one of the few free things here in the island. It's very popular. They have a lot of teams, a lot of tournaments, and they usually play at night. Straight ahead is a brick building. That's our second port. That's the West Montella Tower. It is home to the Key West Garden Club. They say the Garden Club was totally destroyed during the hurricane. That whole section is closed off because of the destruction, but they're working on it. Normally, we would go straight down there. But it is absolutely free to the public, and I don't know. here is they're cleaning all the debris off the streets. And Henry Flagler was very well known in this state. Henry Flagler built a railroad from Jacksonville to Miami. He meets a man named John D. Rockefeller. They started a company called Standard Oil. Both men become very wealthy. And we hears about this thing called the Panama Canal. He says, I built a railroad from Miami to Key West. I bring the merchandise to the mainland. From the canal. I mean, that merchandise will come into the mainland from the canal, not bring it up to the mainland. But we had a hurricane in 1935 that destroyed the Flagler Railroad. Oh, absolutely. But Mr. Flagler built, if you've been at West Palm Beach, Florida, the Breakers Hotel, and that was built for one of the passengers on the Flagler Railroad, directly in front of us, is the Cast Marina Hotel. This was a dream of Mr. Flagler's. He never saw it open. He died in 1913. This hotel straight ahead opened in 19, New Year's Eve 1920. It's currently closed because of the hurricane. When it first opened, it was between eight and twelve dollars an evening. That included all your meals and they had to show you a ticket from the Flag Lorero. Today it's a walled off story hotel. I don't think it's between eight and twelve dollars an evening anymore. 
So that is the Casimir Hotel. I believe they have a lot of first responders staying near the hotel has not opened up yet. And again, normally we would have come along the water, we would have come where the piles of sand are. So I would have ended up here. Now the Casimir Hotel here in the left is a very unique building. If you have a home, you have gutters. Gutters go to drain pipes. Drain pipes go away from the building. These drain pipes that you see going down the side, they go under this building. Under that building is a large tank. That large tank is called a cistern. It was used to hold rainwater. It's still used today for the beautiful landscape of the Cass Marina. Today they get the fresh water from the three tanks we saw on Struck Island. That would have been trolley shot number 10. Normally we stopped there, but again, it is closed because of the hurricane. Now there's over 600 different varieties of plants, trees, and shrubs here in the island. They all bloom at different times. There's over 600 different varieties of fish in the ocean. We're going to come up to a home here on the right. It's the only home on the island made out of coral no longer legal to use coral to build in here in the United States. The coral came from the bottom of the Test Marina Hotel. So that's here on the right hand side, it'll be number 1401. It survived many hurricanes, including this hurricane. And here is somebody living in it. Wow, that's completely made of coral. Now we were going to talk about the chickens and the roosters. I forgot about that. The chickens and roosters came here from Cuba. They came here from cock fighting. But it became illegal though that all gold. They are protected by law here in the island. So if you harm one of them, there's a five hundred dollar fine. So we don't mess with the chickens and the roosters and they don't mess with us. If you see a white bird on the island with a long beak, that's the ibis bird. The ibis bird is the last bird to leave the island for a hurricane and the very first bird to return. Since I wasn't here for the hurricane, I don't know if it left, but it is back. And I don't know where the chickens and the roosters went. But they survived, the Irish birds survived, they want to survive. We're making our way to the southernmost point of the island. In this light, if you took a left, you'd be the ocean. And straight ahead, you'd be the ocean. So when I go through the intersection, I'm going to pull into Charlie's shop number 11. Eleven is normally the buoy and the butterfly conservatory and the butterfly conservatory is closed. Construction, but if you wanted to go to the buoy, you would get off the trolley stop number eleven. You'd walk straight ahead half a block. That's the Wall Street. Keep walking straight. You can see the ocean from here. That's the buoy on the left. The buoy was damaged from the hurricane. So part of the, the painting on the buoy is missing, but if you wanted to do that, and then when you're done, you would come back again to trolley stop number eleven. They said that had nothing to do with it. They would eat conks, the UNCH, that large shell or snail. You see all of the island? Somebody came up with 27 different ways to eat conk. The conk style, the conk soup, the conk critters, the cheerleaders here in the island. They're actually called the conkettes. They performed in the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade in New York. Chicken Remember, the football team is called the Fighting Colors. And every sidewalk on the island, of course, is made out of concrete. Now we're going to take a picture here. Do we have to do this right here? Can you say? So we're going to get up to Trolley Stop number 13. This will be the last stop before we go back to Mallory Square. This is Mid Duval. From 13, if you walk straight ahead, it would be seven blocks to the Mallory Square area. Or seven blocks back to the most point area. Here on the left, the St. Paul's Episcopal Church, built four times, twice destroyed by hurricane, third by fire. The first three churches facing here in Eden, made out of wood. The fourth and final facing uh, here under wall, made out of concrete. When they built the last church here, facing the wall, they found bodies underneath it. They moved those bodies to the Key West Cemetery, Temple 1. John Fleming, again, one of the original owners here in the island, his wife donated the land to the church. And she requested that he be buried under the church. And we are in Lower the Mall, and the right hand corner will be Mallory Square. So another word, it's We're going to go visit Miss Marilyn Monroe. Coming up on the left is the Chocolate Clear. It's an independent theater with a full liquor license. You can have a cocktail to watch a movie. And you can take a picture with Miss Marilyn here on the left. She is the artist, the Seward Johnson, the same. Artist in this statue in Mallory Square. There she is, this is Miss Marilyn. We're on Eaton Street. She's a short walk from 
Mallory Square, we're three blocks over. Behind us is the wall. Right there in front of us is Whitehead. On the left hand corner, a United States Post Office. Built to look like a military fort, but the unique part of the post office is not designed. It is the architect that has sent him a fort. It's a mayor here in the island for 10 years. It's in the Guinness Book of World Records. He water ski from Key West to Havana on one leg and a pick up over six and a half hours. The banyan tree here in the right, again, most of the trees that came down during the hurricane on the banyan tree, this one here seems to have done okay. It is, the tree is from India, and coming up on the left will be the gates to the Truman White House. And again, in the next couple of days, all this debris should be gone. We're coming up to a stop sign here behind the cruise ship on the left, behind the custom houses. Take a right, one block over, sloppy Joe's. Now the next block over, the rub distillery, which you can get in for free, the trolley ticket, and another block over, Kermit's Key Lime Pump. Directly in front of us, Mallory Square, the Shipwreck Museum, directly in front of us, if you want to learn about the wrecking years. The TM building here on the left, the Clinton Square Market. The only better with air conditioned restrooms. And the escalator to the elevator to the second floor. So this is a good time to make sure you have a variety of along. Your passport, your wallet, your keys, your camera, and your cell phone. All the good stuff. We need to find our friend again. The Wall Street's directly in front of us. The CBS is in that corner. Someone asked about the CBS. At that light in the right-hand corner. It's the CBS. We're going to take a left here. We're going to go to Mallory Square.